This unit is part of the Earth and Space Science Standard. This standard focuses on the physical features of the Earth and how they formed. This includes the interior of the Earth, the rock record, plate tectonics, and landforms. Although there may be even more information that is not in this video, we will only cover what is necessary for our standards in this video. In this unit, we will learn about plate tectonics. This video will cover the theory of plate tectonics, Alfred Wegener continental drift and Pangaea, convergent plate boundaries and their formations, divergent plate boundaries and their formations, and transform plate boundaries and their formations. First, let's discuss the theory of plate tectonics. The theory of plate tectonics is a theory that states the Earth's crust is broken up into plates that float on the magma of the mantle. This theory is responsible for the movement of plates as well as the creation and destruction of many landforms on the crust. A long time ago, a German scientist named Alfred Wegener discussed the idea of continental drift. The idea of continental drift says that the plates are drifting apart from each other. Millions of years ago, the Earth was one giant landmass, or supercontinent, called Pangaea. Pangaea then broke up, and the plates began to slowly drift to where they are today. The area where these various plates meet is called a plate boundary. This area where plates meet at the boundary is often where we see new land being created or old land being destroyed. The three types of plate boundaries that we will study are convergent plate boundaries, divergent plate boundaries, and transform plate boundaries. Convergent plate boundaries are where two plates come together. As these plates come together, they can do a number of things. They can smash into each other, in which case both plates will be lifted up, creating a mountain. They can also push into each other, where one plate can go underneath the other, creating an ocean trench. When this happens, the oceanic plate, which is more dense, sinks and goes underneath the continental plate, which is less dense. When this happens, it is called subduction. Subduction occurs when one plate goes underneath another plate. As the plate that is being subducted goes further into the earth, it begins to heat up and eventually melts. It turns back into molten rock and becomes part of the mantle again. This is why convergent plate boundaries, mainly at areas of subduction, is known as an area of destruction because crust is being destroyed as it re-enters the mantle. On the contrary, divergent plate boundaries are where two plates spread apart from each other. When this happens, a rift valley can form, which is just a valley in the ocean. Another feature that can form is a mid-ocean ridge, which is an underwater mountain chain. Mid-ocean ridges are created when the crust splits apart and magma rises up, cools, and becomes solid rock. Because new crust is being created here, divergent plate boundaries are known as areas of construction. Specifically, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is responsible for creating new crust in the Atlantic Ocean. As this ridge moves, it creates seafloor spreading. The further and further the crust spreads out away from the mid-ocean ridge, the older it is. As the seafloor spreads, the continents are also moving as well. Because of this, North America, Central America, and South America are spreading apart from Europe and Africa. The last plate boundary that we will cover are transform plate boundaries. These occur when two plates slide past each other often resulting in an earthquake. 
You should now be familiar with the theory of plate tectonics, Alfred Wegener continental drift and Pangea, convergent plate boundaries and their formations, divergent plate boundaries and their formations, and transform plate boundaries and their formations. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.